We hear a lot about the negative connotations of video games. They're variously making our kids fat, or violent, or socially inept. It's far rarer to hear about how video games might be good for our children, such as the fact that they could help dyslexic children to read better. Dyslexia is a mental condition that, to put it simply, makes it very difficult for the sufferer to read. Around 10% of children in the UK have dyslexia, so how can video games help? Earlier this year, a scientific paper was published called Action Video Games Make Dyslexic Children Read Better, an eye-catching title. It was the result of a study at the University of Padua in Italy, which showed that dyslexic children aged between 7 and 13 could read more fluently after 80-minute video game sessions. They didn't play a game designed specifically for the study. It was Rayman Raving Rabbids on the Nintendo Wii. There's an important distinction to make here. The children could read faster, so their vocabularies weren't suddenly improved. Instead, their brains could access what they already knew far more easily. The crux of the study is attention deficiency. It claims to show that dyslexia makes it difficult for children to concentrate on training themselves to read. As we all know from experience, children don't find it difficult to concentrate on a video game. This has wider educational implications. Penelope Trunk is an American blogger who kept her two sons home from school and allowed them to educate themselves, primarily through video games. She's adamant that the education they gave themselves is better than what they would have had in school. She didn't even formally teach one of her sons to read. She claims that he taught himself to read and write by playing games like Pokemon and Minecraft. The key, again, is in holding their attention. Sit a kid in a classroom and they might not pay attention to anything you put in front of them. Sit a kid in front of a video game and they might play it for hours. In fact, one of Penelope Trunk's sons is dyslexic. She swears that video games are more effective than a private tutor because they were fun and incentivized her son to learn. After all, in many video games, you can't progress if you can't read what's going on. The theory and this is where I get out of my depth in warm, milky neuroscience, is that video games can be used to capitalise on the brain's ability to change with experience, something called neuroplasticity. Scientists have worked out what variables drive neuroplasticity most efficiently. Intense focus on information, information that individually adapts to your own abilities, that gets progressively harder, that requires sustained attention, and that offers timely feedback and rewards. So, if we take for example a Raving Rabbids minigame, it can be fast and frantic, requiring intense focus. It gets harder over its short duration. It rewards you with high scores and success. And it's fun, so it holds your attention it's the perfect vehicle for neuroplasticity. The game trains the dyslexic child's brain to get better at the rapid processing of information. This then carries over into reading. There's a lot more research to be done in this area. A larger test group is needed than that of the Italian study. It needs to be tested on other action games. We don't know if, for example, an action game like Call of Duty would have the same effect. Still, it's a promising start. If links between attentional deficits and dyslexia can be further established, it could position video games as a key element of accessible treatment. The sad truth is that schools are not equipped to deal with dyslexic children. Games could be one method, alongside others, to resolve the problem. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to find out more, check out the in-depth article I wrote for IGN at the link on screen now. And shout at me on Twitter, at DNJOwen. I'd love to know your thoughts.